Okay, let's do some rapid fire selection bias examples. I'm gonna show them graphically. I'm gonna give you some intuition behind what these graphs might mean. And I'm gonna show you why they're selection bias. <clears throat> so let's start off. So once again, I'm not gonna draw uh, an arrow from the treatment to the outcome, just to be very explicit here. So we have some sort of treatment. In this case, I like to use the treatment of something that will help with heart arrhythmia. Uh, I have some outcome, this is heart arrhythmia. I then have some sort of uh, censorship type variable. In this case, this would be death. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the outcome affects death and that the uh, treatment also affects death, okay. However, I'm not gonna condition upon death. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna condition upon something else. And this is, uh, I'm gonna call this patient grief, uh, patient grief. So of course, if the patient dies after the treatment, uh, there'll be uh, the, um, the relatives of the treatment might be grieving. And for that example, they might be less likely uh, to give us the, or to allow us to use the data uh, for the study. So they might be less likely to, to go ahead and, um, and, and give us access to that data. So in this example, I'll assume that none, none of the grieving patients did. And so in that case, that is very, it's, it's synonymous with conditioning uh, upon S. So first, do we have selection bias? Um, so you can think about this for a bit. You know, the easy way that I like to do it is I like to go ahead and uh, write this out in sort of like a line drawing. So A uh, totally affects uh, some variable C, which is also affected by Y and also affects another variable S. So this is affected by Y and this also uh, affects the variable S. And once again, we condition upon S. If you remember from our fourth rule, which we've not used so far, anytime we have conditioned upon the child of a blocker, it opens up this pathway. And so in that case, we do actually have association flowing from A all the way to Y. So because we have association flowing from A to Y, and A to Y are not causally linked, we know that association is not causation, and therefore we have some sort of bias, exchangeability is broken. This bias is called selection bias because we are conditioning upon a common effect of both A and Y. Okay, let's do another example right after this.